We saw in the last video that filtering list pages in Dynamics Nav 2017's web client is quick and simple. However, there might be times where you find that you actually want to change the order of these columns. So for example, at the moment, I can go and choose columns. So I can turn on or off individual columns, but I can't actually change the order of these. And in a filtering example, I might want to filter by the amount. And this is on the end of my list as I scroll to the right. I would like this column further to the left. So what I'm going to do is make a change to this page. I'm going to make the change in the Windows client and I will see that benefit immediately in the web client. So if I briefly go into the Windows client. So now I'm in the Windows client. If I go to sales orders, what I'm going to do is make a change to this page. So if I right click and go to choose columns here, I have the ability to do a number of interesting things that may assist me when filtering and then working later on in the web client. Firstly, I want amount to be much further up the list. So I have a freeze pane in place. What I want to do is have the amount straight after the customer's name. I don't want to see the salesperson code, but I want that to be above the freeze pane. So I'll have three items of information frozen on the left hand side as I scroll across and the amount will be much nearer to me for me to work with when I'm doing my filtering. If I say OK, this page is now refreshed immediately and I have my three columns that are part of the freeze pane that are fixed. As I scroll to the right, I have my other information and amount is handy to work with. If I go back into the web client, this is the current position with two columns frozen. If I simply sign out and back in, it will refresh my settings. So by sign out and sign back in. Now when I go to the sales orders page, the sales orders list page, we can see it's updated. I now have three items on the left of the freeze pane. So it now includes salesperson code and amount is there for me to quickly get to when I want to apply a filter for example, to just see the orders that are greater than £3,000. I might also want to apply a sort to this just to make the information a bit easier to work with. There may be certain situations where I want to put filters in place and return to them on a regular basis. Now this can be done quite simply and saved as a view. So for example, if I want to see all the orders that are of large value, let's say over £10,000, but have it available to me at one click rather than to apply the filter each time. All I do is go back to the Windows client. Here I'm going to use the advanced filter and I'm going to say where amount is greater than £10,000. So going for the high value orders. Now I've got my filter in place, what I'm going to do is save this as a view. So save view as, and I'm going to update the name there. So sales orders, so sales orders high value. And I can choose which of the navigation pane activity groups it goes into. I'm happy with the home one for now, and I say OK. In the Windows client, this needs to be restarted to see it, so yes. So now it's restarted. I've got in my role center, sales orders, a little arrow that I can expand, and I've got sales orders higher value, which means I go straight to my filtered list of the high value sales orders. I forgot to apply my sort, so now if I apply the sorts, they make more sense to me. So ascending above 10,000, and then I save my view, yes. Now if I turn to my role center, and I go back into that save view, my sales order's high value is not only above 10,000, but also sorted. Okay, this is now ready for me to have a look back in the web client. So in the web client, if I sign out and back in, at the moment I don't have that save view, but if I sign out and sign back in, and I go to sales orders in the navigation pane on the left hand side, I now have sales orders high value as the save view available. If I click this, I now get the list that's filtered and sorted, so I've got just the sales orders that are above £10,000 sorted ascending. You could apply this principle to any list page, 
If you want a save view to work with in future, apply your filters, apply your sort, save the view in the Windows client, and then you will see it in the web client. So you'll see on the left hand side, I've still got my standard view of sales orders available to me without the filters and sorting.